What's up guys? My name is Ebony and this is the second video in my stock options series. In this video, I'm just going to do a really quick explanation on how to minimize your losses and how to automate your purchases and sales. So in this video, I did do an example where I bought shares of a company and I also bought an option for the same company. And if you stay tuned at the end of the video, I will show you the difference in profit from the option and then the shares that I bought. The option profited a lot more than the shares that I bought and I actually paid more for the shares of the company than I did for the option. So if you'd like to see the difference in um, profit between those two, then stay tuned to the end of the video. So for my first example, I bought shares of a company called PLTR. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on trade and then sell. Then in the upper right corner, I'm going to click on dollars. It's going to give me the option to sell in dollars or sell in shares. But what we're focusing on is the conditional orders underneath. A limit order allows me to sell PLTR at a minimum price that I set or higher. A trailing stop order follows PLTR throughout the day. And if PLTR falls from its highest point by a certain percentage, then it will trigger a sell. So if I set a trailing stop order for 20% and PLTR is at its highest point for the day and it falls 20% or below, it will trigger a sale. For a stop order, I can set a fixed price for PLTR to sell. So if it falls to $25, I can set it to $25 and it will sell if it falls to that point. Stop limit order is if PLTR falls to the stop price, I can trigger a limit sell. So that means I have to pick a stop price, let's say $25, and a limit sell price. So if it falls to $25, my stop price, I can trigger a limit sell for $26 or better. Okay, let's do an example. So we'll do trade, then sell, and we're going to select trailing stop order. So I'm going to set the trail for 15%, meaning if PLTR falls below its highest point by 15%, it will trigger a sale. Then I'm going to select a time frame. Do I want it to be good until market close or do I want it to be good for 90 days? I selected 90 days in this case. I'm going to type in the number of shares I want to sell and then I can swipe up to submit. Okay, so now we'll do an example of setting up a stop price. So go ahead and click on trade, then sell, then go to those conditions and select stop price. We will enter in a stop price of $24 and if PLTR falls to $24 by either the end of trade day or up to 90 days, I selected 90 days in this case, it will sell my 12 shares. Now I'm going to move on to an option I bought on a previous day for the company TRP. So I'm going to click on trade and then sell. So it will bring you to this screen here. It will ask you how many contracts you would like to sell. I only have one contract, one put for this. So I would type in one and it will ask you for a limit price. So let's say I bought this for $2, meaning $200. Remember in my last video, you have to multiply by 100. And let's say I don't wanna lose any more than $55 on this. So my stop price, I would like to set that for $1.45. So if this put falls to $1.45, it will trigger a sale. You can also do this for call options. Unfortunately, this is not available if you have a debit spread call or put, but it is available with options like these. Okay, yay, you've made it to the end of the video. So I wanted to just briefly show you the difference in profit between the option that I bought for PLTR and the 12.99 shares that I bought for PLTR. I bought these both around 7.30 in the morning, I believe, and as you can see on the timestamp here, it is 8.18 a.m., and I wanted to show you the profit that I got from the option. I'm already up $96 on this call option. Now I will show you how much I have profited from my 
12.99 shares. I paid $350 for the shares and I paid $272 for this option. Okay, switching over to the shares I bought of PLTR. It's profiting $14.43 at the same time of the day. So this is why I want to share with you guys how to purchase options. The next video in this series is going to be about trading options. And it's going to be very comprehensive yet simple. Very, very simple and easy to follow. And I want to make it as short as possible as well while packing as much information in that video that I can. So please stay tuned for that. If you're interested in that, please subscribe to my channel, hit the notifications bell to be notified when I post a new video and leave me a comment. If you have any questions on this video, suggestions for my next video, please leave that in the comments down below. Please thumbs up this video, that helps me so much. And I really thank you so much for watching and I hope everyone has a great day. Bye. The camera and not me. Say bye. Say bye this time. Bye.